and this big beautiful baby, it says to the state of Ohio, eight million seven hundred and fifty-five thousand and eighty-two dollars. No cents. <laughs> August thirteenth, twenty twenty. Congratulations. Thank you, Sean, for that uh, kind introduction. And I'll uh, thank you, Director Maxfield, for being with us today um, on behalf of Governor DeWine. Ohio is an extremely, extremely important part of the hub in everything we do in terms of providing affordable housing. And to that, I want to acknowledge Lydia Mahalik, Director of the Ohio Development Services Agency, and of course, our Field Office Director here in Columbus, Tom Leach. Thank you all for joining us here today. On behalf of President Trump and HUD Secretary Ben Carson, it is my pleasure to announce that HUD is awarding the state of Ohio $8.75 million under the National Housing Trust Fund program. So if we can give a round of applause to the state of Ohio. $8.75 million. In this round of funding for this program, the state of Ohio, as you probably already know, it's one of the best states in the entire country <laughs> because they receive the largest amount, more than twice as most other states. And that says a lot. It says a lot for the state, it says a lot for the governor's leadership and so many directors' leadership uh, to get the funds into the community, but then spending the funds. Because the Housing Trust Fund's main goal is to increase and to preserve the supply of decent, safe, and sanitary affordable rental housing, as well as increase home ownership for very low and moderate income families who are experiencing homelessness. States and state designated entities, they are eligible grantees for the Housing Trust Fund. States are required to use at least 80% of each annual grant for rental housing up to 10% to be used for home ownership and 10% for administrative costs for the grantee. Funds, they can be used for the production or preservation of affordable housing through the acquisition, new construction, reconstruction, and rehabilitation of non-luxury housing with suitable amenities. All housing trust funded assisted units are required to have a minimum, a minimum affordability period of 30 years. That says a lot, it gives people the security, the security that they will have a place for at least 30 years, keeping the affordable component within those neighborhoods for 30 years. As we make sure to protect all our stakeholders during these difficult times of COVID, the Housing Trust Fund is another example of one of Secretary Carson's priorities, which is reducing barriers to affordable housing. HUD is already aligning policies and underwriting towards supporting affordable housing production and preservation through such actions as expanding HUD's low-income housing tax credit pilot program. And we have already implemented the Rental Assistance Demonstration Pilot, or RAD, in place as part of the solution with public housing authorities to actively develop plans to preserve or develop another 250,000 homes across this country. That means that we're going to be securing 30% of the nation's public housing portfolio, thus ensuring- Thank you very much for these very de desperately needed funds. Both this mission and uh, Governor DeWine's goal is to make sure that safe and affordable housing is available for all islands. And this grant today certainly helps along with that goal. We anticipate being able to leverage these dollars um, with other funds we have that available um, to fund anywhere from six to eight housing projects, um, both new build or rehabilitation of existing um, structures. And we anticipate that that will equate to at least 700 units. That's 700 opportunities for seniors, or families or individuals with disabilities to have safe and affordable housing. So thank you very much, HUD, for continuing this program and for your great largesse to the state.